Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me we have another time capsule, 1985 Dodge D100, powered by 225. That's a motor you can't kill. We're going to go over the whole entire details of this truck. Be sure to like and subscribe below. Also, if you want to see a full description, look below too. There's a link there. Click on it. You've got financing options and transport options. I'm going to start off with the paint quality of this D100. It's a six and a half out of 10 because it's original paint. 30,000 original miles. I have the Carfax here, one owner. The last odometer reading was 159 miles. Also, we have full documentation. This will come with the vehicle. It's gonna be the original order, order sheet, build sheet, when it was sold, warranty book, along with a host of miscellaneous documents. Not only do we have this, but we actually have the service records from when we brought it back to life. It sat since 2010 in a giant collection out of Louisiana. We bought five cars. Look at that beautiful Grand National right there. We bought a, oh, he almost hit the cop car. Oh my God. We bought a uh, 54 Jeep. We bought this beautiful 85 Dodge D100. Um, a C30 1985, that sold before we could even get it on the trailer. I'm gonna put this in the back of the truck so we don't damage it. And I'll pop the hood in the meantime. Now there's Joel passing by in the golf cart now. Shifting into second. What's up, boy? Why don't you wear your cowboy hat and sell that? I got my, no, Bush Reagan. Were you even bored when Bush Reagan was gone? <laughs> no, one year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's open this up. We added the, the Ram because it looks so much better with this truck. All the emblems are original. The, the grill is nice. Bumpers are in great shape, nice and even. All the lights work. But the engine bay. So it's got a 225. This motor, they pulled it out of production for sure because you couldn't kill it. It just runs forever. Gives you plenty of torque. Uh, we did put a brand new carburetor, fuel pump, brand new battery uh, lines. We drain the tank and now it runs great. We also had the AC recharged and it works well. Um, we still have a little bit of a hesitation issue. So if you're not rolling down the road and you have the air on, it wants to die. I guess it's pulling too much from the motor. You know, there's, it's creating too much drag. Can't figure it out. We've looked through everything. I have a, I'm gonna give all the receipts for everything we've done for this specific truck to get it back to life. As I said, it was sitting since 2010. I did put a set of Maxxis Mudder buckshots on it. And those are great tires. They look really good. It fits the aura of the truck. That beautiful blue with those stripes. All the body panels are really nice. Minor imperfections in the paint. It sat in a barn for a long time with a lot of other cars. You can see some imperfections here. And then there is a small dent on the rear of the bed. Bed has been lined, looks really, really nice. Yeah, it's got a steel bumper. This car came out of Louisiana. It's pretty nice because you see the Winsboro, Louisiana bumper. Bumper is super solid too. Bed's been lined. Uh, there's all your paperwork that's gonna come with it. And what's neat is someone put a CB radio in place of the radio. I love that, it just gives it so much style and taste. Driver's side is pretty much the same condition as the passenger side. Minor imperfections, but nothing major. It's all original paint. Interior is extremely clean. Dash is in perfect shape. The roof line is great. All your seatbelts still work. Your door cards are original with a little bit of wear. But I mean, that's 30,000, let me see how many miles. 32,275 now. What's neat about it is we did all this work and now you can jump in it and drive it every day if you wanted to. We're gonna go ahead and start it up now. Hear the buzzer still going. When you start it, it's so quiet, you don't even hear it run. Let me get to the exhaust, using my body as a microphone. You can't even hear it running. It's like a sewing machine. We put some sea foam in the system too, so that'll clean out anything else that's been going on in that motor. We also prepped the motor before we started it. Listen to how quiet it is. Let's jump in it and go for a ride. We're inside the cabin right now. I just turned the air on. Uh, it's blowing out cold, which is very nice. You have a nice cubby set up here, wood grain. Your shift selector is right here. You do have a CV radio that's mounted where the radio could be. It does turn on, you can hear the squelch. You've got your wiper controls here. The wiper control arm, we need to order a bushing for it. I don't want to do it because it, it pops out of place. Your lights all operate as they should, and you can see the voltage drop. 
32,275 miles. And you can see the condition of the car and know that it's true. Steering wheel is very nice. Underneath here is there's no rot, there's no rust. Here's your ashtray. Look at that. That's the original, we didn't replace that. Let's open up the glove box. So the glove box is clean. Let's go ahead and put it in gear and go for a ride. Remember what I talked about with the carburetor when you have the AC on, if you're not moving, it wants to stall out because the RPMs are dropping too low. Right now, because it's warm, it seems to be fine, but I noticed that right when we got it running. The interior is really comfortable in this car. All your seat belts look brand new. All the buttons look it's not stained or anything like that. Your headliner is lack of headliner, which I love. So nothing's gonna fall ever. These are beautiful. Your sun visors are nice, they're not falling. Uh, steering is extremely nice. Goes left and right easily. Uh, no funny sounds from the suspension. We're gonna turn here, we're gonna take it on the highway down to Sterling, and then we'll turn around and go on Ravens so we can get some outside shots. If you have any questions about transporting this specific truck, just give us a call at 954-363-2261, or if you just wanna find out an estimated cost of shipping, just go to our transport link, you put the vehicle in and the location, which would be the zip or your port of entry, we can get you a quote. Let's go ahead and get on the highway. Motor feels really nice, very smooth shifting from the transmission. It actually doesn't leak anything, so we had this on the lift for quite some time. The only thing that was leaking was the uh, voltage regulator for the alternator. It has like this goo in it from sitting for so long. We replaced that, it's good to go now. Um, brakes feel great, we checked all lines. I mean, remember, remember this thing sat since 2010. Braking right now, turning right onto the highway. Just give it a little bit more gas. Air condition's working very well. I actually am comfortable. It's about 100 degrees today here in Florida. It's smooth, I mean, you could drive this every day. Take a look at the Ram, how cool is that going down the road? Steering's nice and smooth, we're about to get off on Griffin. I said Sterling, but the traffic is not too nice right now. Uh, we're going, let's go a little faster. We're going about 50 miles an hour right now. Running really smooth. Going downhill right now. You can hear the compressor kicking on with no issues. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email us. We'll get back to you within 24 hours, usually faster. Um, also, if you're interested in financing this car, we can finance you too. Just click on the three links under our finance tab and you guys can compare rates. We like JJ Best Bank, uh, Classic Car Lending and Woodside Credit. Thanks again, please subscribe. Hope you enjoy these drive-bys.